G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I'm back out on the track and I've got the Lanshan One Pro in the backpack here. I've got rain forecast. So let's see the condensation is in it and hopefully there won't be any. Temperature today got up to about 31 degrees centigrade and I reckon it's going to get down to about up between 15 and 18 degrees centigrade where I'm going. Now, the actual camp I'm going to is down in the bowl, so it can get a little bit chillier there than where I'm walking now. So, let's see how it gets on. About a kilometre away from the camp now and with the temperature and also the rain we're trying to rain it's really humid and sticky uh, I think tonight's going to be a really good test for the Lanshan Pro 1 Yeah, let's take you over to see the tent on the outside. I've actually seam sealed it whilst I've been here today. And they say wait three to six hours for it to go off. So it's been just over an hour. So and it took me not much over an hour to do it inside and out. I think we're going to find out tonight because we've already had an hour's or over an hour's worth of rain coming down. It started to rain when I was just finishing it off the last couple of minutes. So let's see, let's show you. So pretty clean and decent. A couple of spots I went over. This pull out I was doing when the rain was really coming down, this was the last one. I made a bit of a mess of that but I've got the sealant behind it and into all the stitching see a big run there what a bugger so all along the bottom has been seam sealed as well this bit here I took it just past where the netting is on the inside just to make sure there's no water to stop in and going that point so it's waterproof down to about here again all the way around that one's not too shabby and this was the first one I did when there was only spits of rain so that's probably the best out of the three I had a quick look inside and even with the heavy rain over the last hour there's nothing gone in there One of the reasons why when I test a tent I come to where I am on the big wooden track because if anything goes wrong there I've got the shelter over there I think you can see it but so far I haven't had to use it met some really great people here I think tonight the rain's going to be putting people off coming so and I have this beautiful campsite all to myself and maybe the emu and the kangaroos and a few billion ants uh, around the area but no it's just lovely and quiet unfortunately you can hear the trucks in the distance going up one of the uh was it yeah one of the, one of the freeways i think it's the great eastern freeway coming out of perth heading for kalgoorlie But that's not that often. But no, 
it's just lovely out here. Now this is the second time I've actually put this tent up. The first was, uh, where are we now, two weeks ago? No, uh, yeah, two weeks ago. And that's when it was the first time I'd ever used it. Now let's get it right, that was a week ago I did that video. And that was the first time, and this was the second time. And I've made a video about putting the seam seal on, and now we're making a video about how it goes overnight and we'll find out we've had the rain test and we're going to get the temperature test it's going to drop down to similar to the two weeks ago was it, or three weeks ago I did the nature hike three four weeks ago since I did the nature hike and uh, it's about roughly the same temperatures it may drop down an extra one or two degrees centigrade grade lower so we'll see if we get any condensation and if we do how much but I always say tents like this, they're summer tents. After testing the Vic as a single wall tent, yeah, they, these are more of a summer tent. A lot of people have used them in the winter, but all in all, I think it is going to be a summer tent. Bit of comfort, the Cedar Summit ultralight insulated sleep mat and a Trek Hardesty pillow. Should be comfortable tonight. And a sleeping bag. There's the Snook Pet jungle bag. for the backpack just there. We've got everything set up in the tent. I've got my backpack down there. A sleep mat. It's probably three or four inches away from the end there. So I've got plenty of headroom. Plenty of headroom here. So looking forward to a good night's sleep. Right. A few people turned up, so I'll be polite. I'll go over there for a little while and I'll see you later. Alright, in the tent. Let's see how it goes, shall we? You can probably hear the noise in the background or the chap still laughing. I threw a few uh, bevies they did. I think it's still going. But, uh, the tent. We had a downpour of rain for over an hour and no water got in, so that's a good start. So the big test now is for the condensation. Let's see uh, how much we get. So unless I wake up in the night, so I'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning. So how did it go in the Lanshan 1 Pro overnight? Uh, the temperature forecast for yesterday was going to be about 15 to 18 they said. But down here at the campsite, and way out, it was about, I don't know, close to about 8 degrees centigrade. So it was really cold compared to what they said. So the Lanshan Pro, how did it handle it? Condensation is what most people are waiting to hear about. It still wasn't that bad. For the first 18 inches, 2 feet, going up from behind my head to above my head, there was no condensation on the immediate wall there, but on all the others, there was a fine mist of condensation on the in, uh, inside of the fly also. Uh, I just used the microfiber cloth and wiped it and to wipe the inside and the outside because it had rain I think I rang the microfiber cloth out three times so the inside <coughs> excuse me uh, was once just to make sure it kept dry the actual space now I threw my pack down by my feet, it fitted nice there below my regular sleep mat. I could have even fitted it beside me but I just threw my hat down there, my camera down there, my cook kit and there's plenty of room and I still had five or six inches between me and the door. Space wise good. You can sit off in it as long as you sit next to the pole. Anywhere else in there when the doors are shut? No, you really need to be able to put your feet out the door and sit near the edge, which isn't too bad. <coughs> when I was putting all my gear away, as you can see, I actually I was outside with my knees just inside the door, rolling everything up from there, put it in the pack on the outside just to make it easier. So it's not a tent you can sit inside, roll everything up and put away. Not with these. I'm sure you could do it, but not with these. I'm going to use the Lanshan Pro 1 again in these conditions. No, I don't think I would. Because of that actual condensation. If it was warmer, like about the 16, 18 or warmer. Yes, I would do. Because going by what I've tested in other one wall tents you don't really get much condensation if any at all around their temperatures so if you want something like this tent you can throw it in your pack over the summer and just go racing off It'd be great one thing I would do next time also I saw somebody else do is they raise theirs up to 130 centimeters and they got a lot more ventilation so next time I put it up I, I may do that but that'll be now in the summer or the warmer weather next year. So yeah, I'll be using it again. No, I won't be using it again in the colder weather because of the condensation. Is it worth what you pay for it? Well, uh, yes, it is. Especially when you can pay three, four, five times more for other brands. We have basically the same setup. So uh, I hope that's helped you out and you've enjoyed this video and if you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and click the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care